With every cool new character comes a cool new adventure. This is Base Pup. Well, actually, I, I think I settled on Moon Pup. I got uh, Space Pup. Starting to call him Moon Pup. Could be a comic for Battle Axe Beaver. See, originally I thought Battle Axe Beaver would be a cool magazine to put, like, different uh, comic characters that I come up with. It. There we go. That clear coat on there, real nice and thick. Too thick. I don't want it to run. There we go. Oh, more fuzz. I don't know where all the fuzz is coming from. Get the fuzz off. And we'll borrow this stick. That little fuzz right there. Get the fuzz. Get it. Okay, it's off of there. Cool. Just set up. Push those spots up. Yeah. Get that on there. It's going to dry together. It's going to like solid. Okay, white cap, back on there, clear coat lacquer, and I think I can draw some characters on there tomorrow, if I have time, if not, I have a weekend in front of me, and a million other things to do, but we'll get it, we'll get some characters on there, oh, first I gotta paint the planets in the sky, there's a planet there, we need some sky. Then I'll get characters on there. Gotta, gotta finish the background first, right? Okay. So Axe Beaver. This is my favorite character right here that I've drawn so far. He's a uh, space explorer. You can see his kind of little bottle cap shoes here and his space suit. Little buddies that he picked up along his exploration uh, of outer space. And these, these are little alien creatures. But they, they kind of look like little gophers or something like that. Anyway, uh, we're going to go and uh, prep the clipboard that I'm going to paint this guy on. And I'm going to put also other different space characters. So now, I'm taking the sketch and blowing it up. I'm just copying it onto my sketch board. I want them to look exactly the same. My other hand's a little tied up right now. I'm taking a little ice cream sandwich break. Delicious. Mmm. That's what it looks like so far. I really love the face on this guy. He's really cool. I can't wait to see what he looks like in color. I had an erase nightmare over on this side. That's okay. The paint's going to clean all that up. And I still have plenty of surface to do the rest of our character. Moon Pup. Now let's get that blue background. A little bit of the sky going on here.
吗？Really starting to like the way this is coming out. It's starting to look amazing on the front. I just keep adding layers, layers upon layers, and then there's even more cool thing about it because space poop. Now immediately when I sat down to this this morning, and in the sunlight I can see all this raised area and I am not happy with that before I go into painting again I'm going to sand it with a thousand grit sandpaper, very fine grit and see if that helps. Okay so now here's time to blend it and clean my brush if there's anything left wet on here, it'll blend in a little bit, yeah hell, even put some more water on the brush, oh, no, I don't want to do that, I'm just kind of getting this milky whiteness on there, so I'll dry the brush, you know what, I don't want that on there at all, put that off of there, there we go, dry that, and blend, I think it's because my water is dirty, And this softens up any kind of rough surface too that the paint has because you don't want chunky. I mean, unless you're doing a Van Gogh-esque sort of painting or a Monet or something where they just intentionally put a lot of texture onto whatever the canvas or whatever you're painting, you don't want that. I'm not going for that. I'm going for a flat surface. See, that's, it's not bumpy. I'll take off the bumps if I find them. Alright. I'm going to go in with some... I'm going to go in with, like, more shadow now. Um, so, hang on a sec. Okay, so I'm going to... did something that I liked. Made it fuzzy. That was a very wet portion still. Okay. And one thing one of my painting teachers taught me was to be brave. So, you're not going to get to this amount of detail by just taking a fine tip brush and just using a brush like this the whole time. You're going to use a variation of brushes to get it all over the, the canvas and then you're going to bring in details right after that follow the shadow down the water on the surface trickling down right can you put some other colors in there and then we're just going to get real fine a little more fine detail this is how the little brush, right? right? Just like that. Just get that little more fine detail. I'm going to follow my shadow that I originally had. A little more. A little more in there. So now it's starting to turn into a detailed thing here, like get in there. Yeah, see, when you weren't 
look and I created another crater. Magic. Okay, so put some white on there. Some glow in the dark. Right. And I decided I want to bring, like, make this not so volcanic, so I want to bring this surface up. Right. So I'm just going to go cloud. White just by itself covers very well. After all these other paints are dry. So look at that. I got a whole new surface area. Right. What does that mean? I've got to go back and add more color details and all this stuff, yep. Yes, I do. Add yeah. yeah, all that. All that to this here. And generally, I just start using the paints I have left. I have paints left. I'm just gonna throw them on there because I'm getting close to taking another break. I'm gonna go and work out side on my big time project and start building the fence. I think that's going to be good. Get outside and work like a dog. We call the little dog. Oh, hi. What? What? You don't like it? Oh, hi. You're, you're shy. You don't have to go outside, you can stay in. You know, it's kind of warm out there. Moon pop. Moon pop. Is it Taco Tuesday? And here's the front, our hero, Space Pop. Sticky. I was hoping it would kind of dry harder, but uh, it looks real nice. I'm happy with it. Um, I don't know how well it's going to hold up at work. I might just end up just using it for sketches and store sketches in there or something like that. That'd be cool. I like it. Nice looking painting. There it is. Front and back. Very, very cool. I'm happy with it. And it glows in the dark. That's very cool. Bye for now. Is it Taco Tuesday? Is it? Is it Taco Tuesday? Is it Taco Tuesday? Is it Taco Tuesday? Is it Taco Tuesday? <laughs>